What's up everyone, I'm Vortac, and today we're checking out Atlas. We are on the Salvation server, which I was kindly invited to by Dark Fan of the Hooligans, and uh, I have also joined the company he's a part of called the Hooligarns. And uh, I'm not making that up, see? Owner, Hooligarns. Uh, I have been having quite a fun time playing Atlas, but I'm also getting myself into trouble constantly. Um, I, I tried to make myself a ship. If you follow me on Twitter, you saw how that went for, for me. I had my shipping, uh, or uh, what do you call it? What is this thing? Uh, the shipyard over a really shallow shore, and it dropped my boat and crashed it right back into the water, uh, probably where it belonged. And then I tried to make another one uh, just for me, and I accidentally destroyed the, the, uh, <laughs> the very dock I'm standing on right now. And I had to replace it because I placed a block wrong or a, a platform wrong and I went to destroy it and had the dock selected instead of the ship. So it's been pretty uh, rough for me. But things are turning around and now today I'm going to try once again to make myself a sloop, which is like the smallest actual ship you can make. Um, I need to gather some materials because I pretty much have nothing at this point and I need to start from scratch getting everything set up. Um, I think this was the thing I created and wow no one touched it okay cool so there was some hide and some various items that I was using to craft with so we have some of that left over and I need to get the basics I need some fiber I need some wood and and things of that sort so I'm gonna be over here gathering for a bit and uh, I'll be bringing you guys along with me for the ride as uh, time goes on yeah always good to give you guys an update when I can uh, so I've been streaming pretty much every day on twitch.tv slash vortec uh, if you've been following the channel for any length of time you probably know that uh, but I want to make a video every now and again whenever I can I do still enjoy editing videos and, and making this kind of content so uh, yeah if you guys enjoy this it's really gonna come down to likes and comments and even shares uh, if possible because it's all gonna be based around the time I have to make content like this and uh, the, the performance of that content. So, again, if you like it, be sure to share it. Be sure to tell anyone who will listen. <laughs> okay, so I've collected a lot of stuff here. Fiber. Um, geez, we got a ton of mint and, and berries and things like that, which I won't be holding on to probably. Maybe the berries. But this stuff here, I might just throw it in the first chest that it seems it should go in. I'm, I'm not too familiar with... Um, the public facilities around here, it would seem that it's okay to throw things in here, I hope. Oh, it says seeds only. No, we don't want to do that. Um, hmm. There's a bunch of dyes in here, so I don't want to clutter this. We'll have to find a place to, to put this. Maybe, maybe in just that storage container I have um, over here for now. But... I'm about to get the rest of the thatch I need, and I'll show you guys the process of building a ship. It's actually really cool. Okay. So, shipyard. Build the sloop. Yes! And there it is. It fills in the shipyard with everything you need. So, we have the skeleton here, which is what all those materials went to. And now we have to put on planks all over the sides. We have to build a deck. I already have a steering wheel for it, uh, so that's good. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's actually... It should be a pretty quick build with the tools I have and the skills I have. Uh, gathering is just not that hard, which is nice. Especially for, like, the smallest boat. Uh, so let me grab the fiber and the wood that we have. How, where does that put my weight? I'm not quite full yet. All right, grab all of this stuff and some of the thatch as well. That will encumber me a little bit, but right over there is the smithy. And the smithy is going to be what, what crafts most of the ship. So if we access this inventory, for example, you'll see it already has some supplies in it and a deck even. Uh, I want to make my own. I don't, I don't like using things that are already present, even if they're there for that purpose, because I don't know who made that, if they're coming back for it, and I don't, you know, they'll never know I took it, so I'll feel even worse. So let's see, um, a bunch of these planks are needed, and then one deck, which is up in this folder here, deck. So let's make a deck. Okay, and let's go back up, and I forgot the amount of these we need, but we just gotta, like, spam it. So we get like maybe 10 I don't know okay so we have six of those and we have a deck now this building process is really cool and this is how it works for all the ships obviously the bigger the ship the more of those items you need and probably more things as well um, but we just equip it 
and it snaps right where it belongs. And you can kind of use these uh, scaffolds around the ship, which will disappear once you launch the ship. And so that's half the boat built right there. Now I equip the deck. It only has one place it can go, in this case, because this is not a multi-deck ship. Um, but there we go. So I've finished the actual boat itself, and now I need to get some sails going. And this is where a little bit of customization can come into play, because uh, you can just choose to have one sail or two. It just depends on the boat as well. It, it'll, it'll determine how many sails you can have. I'm going to make a small handling sail and a small speed sail um, for my boat. So let's make this. There's already a bunch of hide in here. I think some of that was from me. Um, so we'll make this. And I have a bunch in my other storage container as well. Let's make this one. Throw that in here. Placing the sails is pretty cool. And uh, where's that one? Throw that in here. And something else that you end up needing a lot of are ladders. Because this, this tall sail here has a crow's nest on it. And you need ladders to get up to it. They're not required. Um, but if you want to get up there, they are. And uh, also the back of the boat, it's good to have one or two ladders. So you can, uh, you know jump ship, go grab something you see in the water or whatever, or, you know, if you land your boat, and then, uh, you know, obviously you're going to want to get back up. So, ladders. I don't remember how many you need, I just know that uh, I needed more than a couple, so let's just start with six, and we'll place the last of these things down, you guys can see this thing come together. It's it's really cool. I love the boat building in this game overall. And and once we set sail, if we can set sail, I'm gonna I'm sure something will go wrong. I already got a boat in my way, so we'll see what we can do. But um, once we set sail, I'll kind of go over my thoughts in the game because I've been kind of dying to do that for a while. I, I think a lot of people have um, been sharing their thoughts about this game, and, and I have my own as well. Um, all right, so there's the deck completed. Let's grab our sails. We got this big speed sail. We got this weight, or not weight sail, the uh, handling one, and then some ladders. Alright. Uh, so, we can kind of put this wherever we want. We can put it in the back. It, anywhere it's blue, it looks like it can go. I'm going to put it not quite at the front, but almost at the front, I think. Um, yes. Right there. And then the handling sail can go in the back. Uh, which, I don't know if that's the only... It doesn't look like that's the only place it can go, but it's the only place I want to put it. So we're going to put it right there. And there it is. And they're both facing out. Don't have to worry about that. Um, and yes, as I said, there's a crow's nest. There's one on each, but uh, that's the one I'm more concerned with. So, because it's taller. So you can start by placing a ladder, but you'll notice it doesn't come down very far. So you can keep placing them until you hit the ground. Like that. I think we're ready to set sail already. Oh, well... I probably want to put some storage on it. So the way the way this game works, I'm going to tell you this as if you've never seen it before. Um, people pretty much live on their boats. That's There are houses here, and there is a pretty extensive building in the game, as you can see. Uh, and all those houses over there are pretty new, uh, which is, they actually look pretty cool. They're nice. Uh, however, most people, I think, end up making their own boat, which is why there's so many sailboats everywhere. And they just kind of live at, on those. So that's what I'm going to do. I, I may at one point build a house, especially if you guys enjoy this and you want to see more of it. Uh, I may make an episode where I build myself a house out here. However, exploring the, the open ocean is, is way more about what this game's about. And we're also going to check out that big Hooligan's Curse ship because it's finally done. And I'm really excited about it because it looks like they've painted it and done all kinds of stuff. So don't worry. You'll get to see that before the end of the video. First, I want to finish putting our storage crates on this ship. And once I deem it ready, we're going to go check out the boat, and then we're going to launch our own. Now, as people do typically live on their boats, as you can imagine, I'm going to probably keep a lot of storage on mine. Um, I have the ladder on the right, so we're just going to go ahead and put the storage on the left here. I'll just place it right there. There we go. All right. So, a little bit of a uh, storage area. That doesn't look great, but now, now I hate it. <laughs> pick up. Can I pick this one up still? Yes. No? Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Do I have to destroy it? Fine. All right. Let's just leave that one for now. Maybe maybe what I'll do is I'll take this extra one and just put it in here so when we need it, we can find a place for it. For now, I'm just going to take all my excess crap, fiber and all this stuff, and throw it in here. Um, I'll gather a little bit more before we sail off, but I want to show you guys what it's like when you make a big boat and what it's like to live on a massive, massive boat and why that's possible. 
So, oh, I jumped on the roof. So let me run over here and show you, introduce you to the Hooligan's Curse. This is actually the first time I'm seeing this one in person. I've seen a galleon before, but I've just not seen this particular one. People can make a lot of custom stuff. I have not seen one painted like this. It looks amazing. Oh, can I get over here? Here we go. There's cannons already all over it. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how I'm supposed to get up on that thing. But you can see there's multiple decks. The cannons can be accessed from from uh, below deck. I love the uh, the coloring on it too. Man, it looks awesome. Festive even. There might be a way onto it, but I'd hate to jump in the water and <laughs> find the ladder has been retracted on me or something. There's also this one over here. I'm going to have to learn how to paint boats because this looks... Oh, I rubber banded. This looks really cool. This is one of the smaller boats, obviously. There's some ladders coming off the side. Oh, and it looks like the galleon has one popped off the back. Ugh. Let's see if I can hit this ladder. There we go. I don't know what this is. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, you can travel down to each deck. Uh, this one looks a lot different than the one uh, Weem and his friends built that I've seen in terms of just the deck design. So you actually get a lot of customization options. But look how deep it goes. Look how much room there would be if you wanted to create, like, rooms and, uh, you know, have everyone store their stuff on it. It does have a weight limit, and you can see that in the top right, maybe. It's the little uh, weight-looking symbol. It's about 25% loaded up right now, maybe a little bit more. So that's something to keep in mind too. Like the cannons are probably weighing it down quite a bit. You can level up. Oh, like like just like that. <laughs> and uh, the, the boats level up, and you can get them to uh, you know have better uh, handling or uh, I mean not handling sturdiness, and you can also have them hold more things. So they might not have taken this thing out very much at all yet, and they still need to level it up and and increase its its weight capacity. But there you go. That's what a galleon looks like. All these boats are, are pretty interesting, and they can be very unique depending on who builds them. And speaking of which, ours is done. So let's launch it. Let's try it out. Maybe I'll successfully launch my very first boat today. Maybe. Or something will horribly wrong. Either way, I'll be sure I'm recording this time. Can't really go anywhere if we don't place down one of these. Um, how about... I want to get it right in the center. How about right here-ish? Boom. I guess you could put it anywhere, which would be kind of funny. But there you go. One boat. Can I retract this ladder yet? Climb up or demolish. I guess we just leave it. I would really like to retract it. I think it, it looks kind of cool retracted, but <sighs> whatever. So I have to control these sails separately. Uh, you guys will see. Let's go ahead, and if I hit use steering wheel too, you get a nice third-person view of the boat. I might as well take a picture of it while we're here cool and uh can i get off the steering wheel now do i how do you e there we go you guys ready to launch it oh my gosh i'm nervous i'm so nervous this has gone bad for me twice now all right hold e release ship there it is name your sloop vortex venture that's a bit of a throwback for you except awesome it's pretty low compared to that other one, isn't it? <laughs> now, we have a boat right in front of us, and the only thing that can happen with me at the helm is we can hit that boat. That's the only option. <laughs> That's it. Uh, but yes, if we wanted to set sail, I would basically come over to the sail here, sail controls. <gasps> oh, there we go, ladder controls. Retract all ladders. Boom, there. Oh, finally. This one's retracted, right? This one doesn't look retracted. Hold, where, did, where is it? Hold E to retract ladder. Make sure no one can get up here. Okay. So, I'm really nervous because I've never even driven one of these before and someone had to park their boat right in front of mine. And I just, I feel like I'm going to smash into it. There's just no other way. I, okay, anyway. Here, what if we just open one sail? I don't want to. Okay, open sails. How about we open them 10%? Okay, we're moving. Okay, get off the sail. Get um, get behind the wheel. And if I if I turn to the right, that that should be fine. I can see it slowly trying to move to the right. We've changed our heading. 
Good. Don't crash into the dock. Oh boy. I'm cold. I need, a, I need to sit like a fire next to myself. Now, if I want to speed up, I got to get off the steering wheel and go and, you know, actually open the sails more. But because I'm so nervous about hitting this boat in front of me, I'll, I'll take this. This is fine. This is a fine cruising speed for not smashing into a boat. Oh, I think we're okay. Oh, I kind of hear something. I hear some noises. Please don't hit anything. It's so unfair that I have to... This has to be my first trial. <laughs> <laughs> oh man now getting out of here I, I mean I don't necessarily need to leave our little cove but I probably should just to you know start my adventure however I don't have any armor right now and uh, we also we also never really gathered anything to store up so I'm just going to get this boat uh, safely away from all the other boats and then I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit uh, about my thoughts on the game so far because I, I do feel like um, I, I have some, some stuff to share that would be worth sharing. So let me just get around this over here and, you know, get myself in a position to at least sail the heck away. I'll go gather some stuff and we'll talk. I've gathered up what I think is a pretty good amount of stuff to take with us on a starting journey. I'm going to put everything in here because typically what happens is, uh, I end up killing myself intentionally to get my food and everything back up because I don't have enough um, like, of sophisticated technology available to, like, store food for a long period of time. Let's grab the stone. Uh, I'm trying to grab some stuff to make a bed. And that should pop up over here at some point. Let's see. I need hide and thatch. Here's some hide. And here's some more thatch. There we go. And, uh, as we travel, we can always stock up on things. But let's see. We'll just, we'll just get this bed. And I'm going to set sail. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of sailing. And uh, again, we, we are going to talk a little bit about just my thoughts on the game so far. Uh, let's put the bed up here. Doesn't really matter. There we go. And uh, I can name this bed just to keep track of it. Um, vortex bed. There we go. So wherever the boat is, if I die, I can always spawn on it as long as the bed exists. I've had beds destroyed before when I had a raft. In fact, um, so they can be destroyed, and that can put you in, a, in a, such a way. In fact, let me just check on something real quick. If we look at the, the actual atlas itself, out here I had a raft. I guess it finally decayed enough to disappear, but yeah, I had a raft out in the middle of nowhere with no bed on it. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. Um, our sails are turned against the wind right now, so the first thing I want to do is rotate them where we're getting where we're gonna catch some wind I think maybe if we turn them dramatically about 60 degrees we get a little bit of breeze there and let's turn this sail as well rotate this is where it comes in handy to have a crew 60 degrees all right so if I take away the anchor and then fully open these sails we're gonna start moving pretty quick here Fully open. All right, and get behind the wheel. Uh, we're good for as long as we continue going straight or going in a direction that picks up the wind. Uh, but I'm going to start turning so I don't hit any rocks. And uh, I'll just keep sailing out away from this island. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of pushback from the wind, but we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Um, but my thoughts on Atlas so far... I've been really, really enjoying it. I've actually been hankering to play. And the problem I'm having with it is the lack of optimization, which back when Ark first came out was, was kind of an issue as well. It just, the game was very poorly optimized. It couldn't run smoothly on a lot of machines. And that's especially true for me um, with uh, my PC and I, you know, my inability to stream it. I've, I've had a lot of trouble streaming it and uh, for some reason recording it has gone a lot better for me. So, I'm just going to record it when I can, again, as long as you guys are interested in seeing that kind of content, and I have time, I'll try to put it out. Uh, if you're looking to buy Atlas, though, and you're, and you're looking for kind of a review in that respect, I would say, um, if you have a private server to play on, if you, if you have friends playing it, and you can get yourself on a server with them, highly recommend it. Uh, because even in early access, there's still a lot you can do. And if you're willing to put up with some bugs and some issues, uh, it's getting updated every single day still. So a lot of stuff keeps getting fixed. 
I would still really recommend this game in a, uh, you know, in a, in a private server environment. As for the public servers that play more like an MMO, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's really cool, you know, putzing around in the ocean and then seeing another boat out there, especially if it's a PvP server. I imagine for people into that, that could be really fun. Um, if you're willing to put up with even more bugs, even more lag, even more issues like that, then go for it. But if, if that's just not going to be your cup of tea and you don't have a private server to play on, I would not recommend picking up this game yet. Now, they've said that as time goes on, the game is going to get more expensive. That may be a really good reason to go ahead and, and pick yourself up a copy now while it's more affordable. If you know you're going to like this kind of game, if you know you like ARK and you're going to like games like it. Um... But yeah, other than that, I would say it's it's kind of tough to tell you, yeah, definitely buy it uh, when it's in this state, even though it's getting updated every day. Um, but there you have it. Those are kind of my initial thoughts. I've been playing this game since it came out, and it's gotten more and more stable as, uh, as time has gone on. Let me rotate the sails now to uh, try and pick up that wind. It's kind of shifted on me and get some speed. I'm going to try to get out of here because I'm I'm going on a mission. I'm I'm going exploring. That's my plan now. Uh, so, as I've been saying, if you guys want to see more of this, if you're enjoying it, it's all going to be about, you know, how uh, <laughs> how you treat the video. If you give it some likes, if you share it, if you know what I mean, if I have time to, we'll make more. And uh, you guys can join me on my, hopefully, many adventures because I am having a lot of fun playing this game. And I can't stream it, so <laughs> I'm down to recording it. And, uh, of course, I hope you will join me for another video if we happen to do one. Um, our ship has a level up. I'm, I'm at a good heading now, so let me show you that real quick. Uh, if you go to options for ship and access the properties, this is where you can kind of control things. Always good to do additional weight because we're going to be picking up a lot of stuff and loading it up. So uh, I need it to have a lot of weight. Sturdiness is going to help with its decay rate as well. Um, but, yes... Goodbye, Hooligarns Isle. I don't know. I don't know what we're calling it. That lighthouse is awesome. <laughs> but I'm going to explore. I'm going to try and find myself some more, uh, some more stuff, some more things. And hopefully in due time, we'll, uh, we'll even be treasure hunting and things like that. I actually picked up a treasure map of fine quality. My first one. 707 gold. Not bad. So without some armor or proper weapons, probably shouldn't go after that thing because they're very tough. Uh... But yeah, once we get once we get some better accommodations, that's going to be awesome. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. And if you uh, if you're missing a lot of content, please twitch.tv slash vortech. Go check out our live streams. Mojo's there for a lot of them too. Play a lot of Minecraft and all kinds of stuff. So I hope you guys will check that out as well. Because even if I don't make YouTube videos, I'll be over there. All right, guys. Peace out. Have a good one.